Hey Puds, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, honey, today we're going to be talking about setting powders on my channel. I love setting powders, complexion products in particular, or my favorite type of makeup. That being foundation, concealer, primer, powder. I did have a video on my channel, but I didn't like the way I looked in it. Like, I look real, like, I don't know, but I have to let it go. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jazzy Baptiste. I am a makeup artist and a beauty influencer here on YouTube. I also identify as being non-binary, so I identify as being gender neutral. Anywho, let's get into setting powders um, in no particular order. This is Derma Blend Warm Saffron. I love this setting powder. I love to use it to set the center of my face. It is like a warm tone, soft, like an orange-like powder. So if you are in the same complexion um, range as me, this will be a very good setting powder for you to set your makeup. It has a 16-hour wear claim. I always use this powder to set my concealer in the center of my face if I know I'm going to be at the house for like at least 12 hours or more. Um, this powder is my favorite. It's my top five for sure. I definitely go through this powder the most. It's my favorite powder. If you are a little lighter than me, you can also use the powder in banana. Just an event that, you know, I know everybody who watches my videos, you know, aren't particularly my same skin tone. But you can use banana as well. And if you dark or deep, you can use banana too. Because this is not going to set. Um, sometimes I mix banana and warm saffron together. But um, you can wear it by itself as well. Sorry, honey. Another powder that I love is the Black Radiance Powder in um, Medium. This is their Soft Velvet Powder, I think. Yeah. Black Opal. This powder is pretty good, too. It's really good. It's eleven ninety nine. dollars you, you can get it at Walmart. As you, as you can see, mine is done. <laughs> um, I love it. It is a Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. So, they have skin tone powders as well. So, if you like to set your whole face with, with the powder, you can use this um, this medium color. I just use it to set the center of my face, so um, I use that powder for that reason. Again, this is the um, black opal soft velvet powder. Another powder that I really like is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic powder, and my color is Gobi. This is like a uh, it's a setting powder. Um, I, I believe they have a translucent powder. My lights might be washing out. I believe they have a translucent powder as well. But they have several colors. So you can just go and um, select the best color you think is for you. Um, I chose Gobi because it's a tone that's similar to setting powders I use to set my under eye in particular. Um, so I use Gobi. I've been really liking it. Um, Juvia's Place is very affordable, so definitely go check this out. I believe, yeah, you can get it at Ulta. Ulta and online as well. Another powder I've really been liking is the um, Maybelline Fit Me. And this powder I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, for some reason, my drug stores by me are not as dark skin friendly. Um, for some reason, I feel like where I live... And Dallas, the area is diverse, but for some reason, when it comes to the drugstore makeup, it's, I don't know, it's a little, I don't know. But anyway, I finally, they finally stocked the, the Fit Me powder, and my color is Deep 35. So I use this powder to set my under eye. Um, since I make content, I wanted to use something that, at a, at a more affordable powder, because I feel like I was... Using too much of my expensive powder for looks that I literally washed off and I'm done. So I want to use something um, that was drugstore. But I will say this little drugstore powder slaps. It slaps. All caps slaps. Like, honey, I've been wearing her when I don't film. I've been wearing her when I film. Like, I this powder is nice. 
and it doesn't look weird underneath the eye. It's a really nice color. Um, I love it. Um, I definitely will check it out. Again, this is Deep 35 if you want to use me as a reference. Um, they have about, I would say, about maybe five colors or they probably have more. But um, yeah, this powder is really, really nice. Another powder that I really like is the Wet n Wow Pressed Powder. And my color is Cocoa. Kind of like, um, it reminds me of the MAC um, MSF powder, um, like the Mineral Press powder. This is a skin tone color, so if, you, if you're looking for a powder that you, you want to use just to set your all over your face, this powder is also good for that, so I would definitely check that out. So this, again, this is a Wet n Wild Press powder. Another powder I like is the powder I like. It's the, I want to say it's Long Time No Shine from Lancome. This is another powder that's a skin tone shade. So if you're a dark to deep, this powder will set, you can set your face with this. Let me show you. So it's like a, it's a dark color, but it's like translucent. So it's going to set. It may look dark when you in the pan and once you set it it's like a translucent powder but for like dark skinned people um they do have i mean i wear regular translucent powder and it doesn't really um change my makeup so you can wear a translucent powder but a, a lot of translucent powders out there aren't as dark skin friendly so i feel like you are safer to use a dark to deep translucent looking powder um but there are powders that are translucent that um, are dark skin friendly. For instance, the Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics. I really like this powder. I use this powder. I don't use it to set my foundation. I use it to retouch it. So if I set my powder and I feel like I need to be smoothed out some more, I'll go on top of it. But um, it's, I wouldn't use it to... Um, set your whole face just I would use the set areas that you feel like you still need a little bit more help um, it's one of those kind of powders I know it's kind of tricky but um yeah I would use, I would just use it for that another powder I like is the um, kilowatt powder from Fenty and I have nutmeg and I've used this to set my face and I've used it to dust away my baking powder I need to go find another shade. I think um, Honey would be the best shade to set set my under eye. But um, I got Nutmeg just to try it. It was one of those little bitty ones. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and try it. So I did. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to try Honey next to, um, for an under eye situation. Another powder I like, and that'll be the end of the video, is the Dermablend Loose Original Setting Powder. Now, this is the powder that you will use to set your makeup. I feel like I have enough powder on, but I'm just going to show you. <laughs> so, you can use this to set your makeup. It's translucent, but it's not going to change the integrity of your makeup. It's just going to set it, keep it from budging and shifting throughout the day and what have you. Um, it's a really pretty powder. The Dermablend powders are very finely milled. Um, I've never had an issue with Dermablend powder, so I love them. Love, 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 love. Um, let me know what powders you girls and guys have been loving as well that you like. Um, I love complexion products. Those are the products that I like to go out and try. So let me know if I can go spend my little coins or whatever on some powder. Because we like powder on this channel. Anyway, we like foundation powder. Let me let me clear that up. Anyway, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. But I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We only like a foundation powder, honey. We don't... This is a drug-free powder. I mean, this is a drug-free channel unless you smoke a little, you know... That's all we do on this channel and drink a little drink and that's it. Anyway, I'm being silly. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. 
Um, yeah, let me know um, what you think about these powders. Um, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.